And the next email today comes to us from Sam Jewell. And Sam Jewell writes, I was wondering if you've been watching the Mayans MC and what are your thoughts on the show? All right, thanks a lot for the question. And yeah, a lot of people were asking me when Mayans started up uh, if I was watching the show and, and I hadn't for a couple reasons. Number one, I was busy. But the other reason is this. You guys know that Sons of Anarchy is one of my three all-time favorite television shows. And to be frank with you, while I was curious about Mayans, which is a spinoff of Sons of Anarchy for those of you who didn't know, it felt like just a cheap poor man's knockoff version of Sons of Anarchy. It did to me. And that's offensive to me as a big Sons of Anarchy fan. So, yeah, I was real busy. That's why I didn't check it out. But also there was a small part of me that's like wasn't even interested in checking it out. Because, again, it looks just like a poor man's version of Sons of Anarchy. Well, last week I had a little bit of time and I actually got down to start watching uh, Mayans MC. And I'm going to tell you what. I'm now caught up. I believe they're up to episode nine. I'm now caught up. It is the best new show on television. And this is coming from a guy who is predisposed to dislike it. I didn't like that they were ripping off on Sons of Anarchy. I didn't like that. Blah, 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 blah. I started watching this show. And I'll tell you what, I got over all those prejudices real fast. This is excellent television. Excellent television. And I'll tell you what, it is the best new show on television this year and there's some great new shows this year you got haunting of hill house you got a few of them this is the best new show on television and i'll give you a couple reasons why number one and this is key one of the things i was really afraid they would do is do cheap gimmicky look how we're tied to sons of anarchy everybody and i was just afraid they were going to do that kind of like how the pathetic way that agents of shield does it with the mcu look guys we're talking about iron man look guys we're talking about thor we're in the mcu too i was really afraid i was convinced not just afraid i was convinced that this mayan show would pull that type of bs and you know what it doesn't there's a couple of very little subtle references uh, to make it clear, this is still the same world, but they do not do any big name dropping. They don't do anything like that. They don't overtly tie themselves into the original show. And when they do institute ties to the original show, it's with minor secondary characters. And it's with soft little offshoots and subtle references. And they do it that way without being overtly connected to the events of Sons of Anarchy. And I like that a lot. The second thing is this. Story, 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 story. This damn show, every single episode, is pulling out amazingly beautiful plot twists. Some shows drop plot twists like, like, like cheap gimmicks. But this has intelligent, narrative-serving plot twists all the time. And I feel like three times per episode I'm going, oh my god! Like, I'm just freaking out about it. So story, 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 story. It's amazing. Thirdly, the pace of the show is beautiful. It's not like this rapid, oh, no, 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 go, go, go. No, 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 no. Fast doesn't mean pace. Slow doesn't mean lack of pace. There is a cadence to this show that is beautiful. It's beat, 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 and it keeps in rhythm, and it keeps on time, and you know certain things are going to happen at certain points, and it's just beautifully done. Next, characters. This show has a lineup of characters that pretty much rivals the lineup of characters that we got in Sons of Anarchy. It's incredible. Each character is so radically different and unique and comes with their own quirks and their own backstories. And it just, it creates such an incredible tapestry for the show that it just makes it thoroughly enjoyable all the way through. But I'm going to tell you the biggest reason why this show is the best show, best new show on television right now. And that's one of the things that caught my attention early but it is the performance of Edward James Olmos. Admiral Adama himself from my number one all-time favorite television series, Battlestar Galactica. He plays the main characters, two of the main characters' dad. He plays the, the dad of Easy, who you see in the picture here, and his big brother Angel. He plays their father. This guy should get an Emmy for this. He should. He is... 
the Mayans version of Gemma from Sons of Anarchy, except he's a great, like he's, he's not twisted and evil and bad. Like he's, he's a good, he's a good father. He's a good guy with some dark shady, pa- he's just a great character. And Edward James almost crushes every single scene he's in. Like just, I watch him in a scene in this show and it's just, mm, I feel like I got to pause the show and just soak in the performance he gives in it. He's that damn good and on top of that the lead character is his son who you see in the picture here easy or ezekiel they call him easy great character at first one of the reasons i didn't want to watch this show is because i thought their lead character was just a knockoff of Jax. easy is the mayans version of Jax from sons of anarchy no he's a very different character with a very different backstory and i really love the way they've been moderating and moving this whole thing around I, guys if you haven't started checking out mayans mc Watch it. And you don't even have to have watched Sons of Anarchy. You know, you'd never have to have watched a single episode of Sons of Anarchy to watch and appreciate this. It'll help if you have, but you really don't need to. It's great. It's awesome. And yeah, guys, to me, it, it is simply the best new show on television for all those reasons and more. If you haven't checked it out, check it out.